Hey guys, it's Professor Pro, and we've gotten more Animal Crossing New Horizons information in the past 5 days than we have in the past 3 months, which is incredibly exciting. As we approach the game's release, more and more details will be dropped, which is definitely something to look forward to. Even though we're most likely approaching a major news drop in the inevitable January or February Nintendo Direct, a lot of the news we received lately is pretty huge, the biggest of which being the game's official box art. Now, I could spend an entire video praising the art and talking about how much I love it, but A, I kind of already did that, and B, I'm pretty sure you guys can only listen to me rambling about the beauty of a piece of video game art for so long. So instead, I'm focusing on some of the things in the official box art, and one of the screenshots released with it, that I haven't seen many people discuss. Now, most of the big things confirmed here have already been talked about intensely for the past few days, so I'll instead be focusing on some of the smaller things revealed that can still be considered interesting. A lot of this video is going to be theorizing about what some of these things could be, so you probably shouldn't watch this for hard confirmations. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting with number 5, we have a very minute detail which isn't anything huge, but would add tons of charm to New Horizons. Now, I'm sure you've all noticed Harvey in the corner of the full box art image, lovingly feeding his birds, which is honestly just adorable, but that's a topic for another video. However, people seem to be so invested in Harv for long himself that they don't seem to pay much attention to the house behind him. Something that caught my eye after looking at the art for an insane amount of time is the fact that we can see a birdhouse on Harvey's door, one that seems to already be occupied by a yellow bird, or a model of one at least, it's a little hard to tell. Now, we know from past New Horizons presentations that we'll be able to decorate our doors with various trinkets and knickknacks, so it's very possible that players will also be able to acquire this birdhouse. What I'm curious about is if it will actually be able to attract yellow birds, similar to the bird seed item in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Like I said before, this isn't anything huge, but it's definitely something to think about. For number 4, we're going to be heading over to our new dodo friend near the back of the box art. This guy has been the talk of the community ever since the box art was shown off, and I can see why. He's super friendly looking and has a great fresh design, I can definitely see myself loving him a lot. But did you notice anything different about his vehicle? In the previous New Horizons trailer that we received during the September Direct, both the dodo airline seaplane and building were yellow. The two are shown to be blue in the box art. This confirms that similarly to the train station in New Leaf, the establishment that you arrive in can have different colors from town to town. However, I believe this is the first time in the series that the actual vehicle we arrive to town on can have different colors, apart from the supposedly rare cream and red train from New Leaf that I didn't even know existed until researching this video. I really hope Nintendo goes all out with seaplane customization in this game. Number 3 has us looking to the second new character in this box art, being this beaver guy over here. For the rest of this portion, I'm going to refer to him as Chip Jr, both for simplicity's sake and for the fact that I believe him to be Chip's son. A lot of people have been wondering what Chip Jr's role will be in New Horizons, especially since he's one of only 12 animals to be displayed on the game's box art. Will he have some sort of shop for fishing equipment, or will he take over for Chip at the tourneys? Well, I believe the latter to be true, as one of the fishing boxes that Chip usually brings to the tourneys can be seen in this art, sitting next to Chip Jr. Is this a stretch? Yes, possibly. But I feel like fishing needs to be reinvigorated within New Horizons, considering it's on an island, and a great way to do that would be by giving the activity a new mascot. Of course, I still love Chip and hope we see him with a meaningful role in this game. Perhaps we could see him with his own fishing themed shop, especially since you're able to craft and assumably buy bait in this game. For number 2, we're going to be looking at everyone's favorite Shih Tzu, who of course can be no one else but Digby. Fine, okay, it's Isabel, but Digby deserves some respect too, okay? Ever since E3, we've known that Isabel would be in this game, but we didn't know what kind of role she would play. Can't really be the mayor's secretary on a mayorless island, can you? But with this box art, we've finally begun to receive our answer. She'll be working for Nook. If you look closely at Isabel's shirt, you can see that it has an identical design to the shirts worn by Tom Nook as well as Timmy and Tommy. But what will her job be? Well, in this picture, she seems to be guiding Fuchsia from the airport to the main island, so maybe she'll be Nook Inc's island guide, helping islanders become acquainted with their new lives. 
It seems like a job that would work perfectly for her character, as she already did something similar at the beginning of New Leaf. And finally, for number one, we'll be looking at one of the screenshots released alongside the box art. This bike. This is making me lose my mind. Some people are guessing that it's simply the mountain bike furniture accessory, but that item has yellow going down towards the wheels, something this bike clearly lacks. Yes, I'm aware there's a 95% chance that it's just a new furniture item, but my mind keeps thinking, what if, you know? Bikes and scooters are something I've wanted for a pretty long time, so hey, a guy can dream. But anyways, that's about it for this video. I'm curious, what hidden things have you guys found in Animal Crossing New Horizons' box art? Let me know in the comments below. Professor Pro, out.